Welcome to this Checkpoint Tech Bytes video series on deployment options. If you routinely re-image Checkpoint Gateways then you may be looking for a way to streamline the process. Checkpoint Gateways come with one or more default software images such as R77.30 or R80.10 as the base image. When you power on the appliance and connect to it with a web browser, a first-time wizard launches to configure your Checkpoint product. The wizard asks you to change the default password, set the time zone, management IP address, the default gateway and so on. Unique to Checkpoint is the product configuration where you can choose to run management and gateway components together in a standalone configuration. Or, as is more typically the case in an enterprise, choose to run only the gateway components or only the management components. In all the interactive first time wizard may take from 5 to 30 minutes from start to finish. Like any other network device, after the base configuration you may also want to install the latest updates and patches using CPUs in the Gaia web UI adding another 5 to 15 minutes to the process. Today you can install the base image, script the basic network configuration, configure the product and install the latest updates using the isomorphic tool or a new tool called Blink. Blink is a faster way to deploy checkpoint gateways with the latest updates and patches. Let's compare the two tools. The prep time is the same. Both require you to download, verify and transfer the files to the target system. Isomorphic does this via creating a bootable USB drive. With Blink you copy the files to the target system. In terms of install time, this is where Blink shines. With Blink you can cut the time to re-image an appliance from 30 to about 5 minutes. Today Isomorphic provides more product configuration options, gateway only, management only or standalone. You can also just install the image without doing the product configuration leaving this to be done by the end user. Today Blink only supports gateway configurations. Isomorphic can be used on appliances and open servers. Today Blink can only be run on checkpoint appliances. Both provide the option to script the basic network configuration and install hotfixes. Isomorphic reformats the disk while Blink does not. It replaces the current snapshot with a new snapshot. With isomorphic you provide the build. This means you collect the base image, the deployment agent and any hotfixes to create a bootable USB drive. With Blink, Checkpoint provides the files for you. Let's see the simple use case of these two tools. Locate isomorphic on the support site and download the isomorphic executable. Run it with administrator privileges. Locate the R80.10 ISO already downloaded. Select the USB drive. Select Attended or Unattended Install. Attended works well when you have different appliance models to re-image. Unattended is a bit simpler. Select the appliance model. Type Yes to confirm and it begins to format the USB drive. That's it. Power off the target appliance, insert the USB and power it on. Monitor the process via a console connection. If you selected Interactive Install, you'll see this screen when you boot the appliance. With the Unattended option the image is simply installed. After the reboot, the user connects and steps through the interactive first time wizard. Here is a simple Blink use case. Locate Blink on the support side and download up to three files, the Blink utility, the gateway image and optionally the update package for that version. Note that if you have a new appliance that already has R80.10 and take 462 or above, then this includes the Blink executable already as part of the image. Simply copy the Blink image and updates package to a USB flash drive, plug the drive into the appliance that has not had the first time wizard run and Blink will launch automatically in a plug and play fashion. To install Blink on earlier versions of the software, manually copy the files to a target appliance that is set to factory defaults. This can be done using a USB drive or SCP. Create a directory in slash var slash log where there is usually ample space. Mount the USB drive, copy the files. Uncompress and untar the Blink utility. If needed change the execute permissions and run Blink. That's it. When finished Blink reboots the appliance. Connect to the appliance with a web browser and a Blink first time wizard launches. Fill in the form and click go. Log in again. Notice that when you navigate to CPUs you can see that the update is already installed.
For more on Checkpoint deployment tools please visit our Checkmates user community at community.checkpoint.com. Thank you.